make a, a progress. Uh, so uh, thanks for bearing with us on that on that presentation. Right now, let's go into the um, the next agenda item, which I know a lot of people are here for. Apologies for um, keeping you waiting. So it's agenda item four now, which is the future council 2014 um, consultation findings. Um, I'm going to say a little bit of this about the board in, in a second, but um, I've had a request um, from Unison uh, if uh, they could please address the camera, which I'm uh, very happy to, to agree to. Um, but Phil Goodwin is here from Unison, so Phil, do you want to step forward and um, if you could speak to us for, for up to five minutes, that's okay? That's fine. Thank you very much.
and the people that you represent. Think carefully before you make those decisions, because those decisions will affect your workforce, your accepted service users, and the workforce that form the most of these courts. Thank you.
I think one of the more generous voluntary settlement schemes in the Northwest. And, and I think, again, I speak for, I know the whole administration, we absolutely need to avoid compulsory redundancies. Um, you know, bend over backwards to do that. And, uh, and absolutely, if we, if we can do, we can work as hard as we can collectively, try and manage this on a voluntary basis. And, and, uh, and if people, um, if people need to leave the authority, if they can be dignity um, and a, a reasonable, reasonably secure um, uh, settlement, then I think that's in, in both of our interests. So again, I'm, I'm keen that we, we can try and maintain that. But at the end of the day, you know, I'm not going to pretend that any of this is going to be easy or, or painless, but my, our commitment is to try and uh, protect the frontline services and to work with our, you know, you, Phil, and our colleagues in Unite to try and you know, manage this in, in as sensitive way as we can, but recognising that you, you know, we can't take 151 million uh, out of our budget without um, making some very, very big decisions. Um, so that being said, the, we're not going to make any decisions tonight on, on the budget options. What I'd just like to, having said those, those, those remarks, uh, this report is uh, about the consultation we've just undertaken on the uh, budget options which the Chief Executive um, published in, in, in September. I, I'd just like to, to just highlight the fact that we've had a fantastic response to that consultation. 7,874 individual questionnaires were returned, and we had letters, emails, and petitions in addition to that. I, I, I think that is a terrific um, sort of outcome in terms of people engaged, being engaged in the process, and I think it's good that we've had such a great um, uh, response from, from our, our residents um, and staff to that consultation. Now, it's absolutely essential that as the, um, as the cabinet and as members of the administration, we, we digest the outcome of the consultation, we, we listen 